Hello world, I want to show you how to do pre how to do a pre-conversion from the Ethereum side to the Vera side and to acquire your part of bridge.v, the currency that um, is the bridge currency which consists of four reserves which are Maker, Dai, Varus and Ethereum. I will show you how to uh, convert some Maker because at the moment it is uh, uh, the currency that would give you the best deal. We don't know if it's like this also at the end of the pre-conversion phase but we'll see likely market will do its thing so everybody will get a more or less fair share of bridge.weave but we are doing maker now so we are already in the wallet i created a, a new profile to show it to you right from the start with the new various mobile things are really easy so first we are adding the ERC20 token of Maker. We are doing it by find using mapped PBAS currency. You could also just enter the ERC20 contract address that you can find on CoinGecko, on my Ether wallet, or, where, or wherever. But we don't need these things anymore as we have all the technology stack now in our various mobile wallet which is a great achievement so i did something wrong um, find using pbas currency of course i have to put in the name here so the name on the various side is let's make it big is maker mk mkr dot v so Press continue. Yeah, data about this ERC20 token was retrieved. Verify that the contract address you entered is correct, which it is, but you can obviously double check if you want. We press add. And we have added Maker to our wallet. So we can now receive Maker as an ERC20 on the Ethereum network. What we will also do is we add Maker as a various PBAS currency. And we already entered the currency name on just right now and we are putting it in again maker.v press continue and it was found it's a permanent token system v this means um, it is um, yeah a currency of the bridge converter. We're also adding this currency. Done. So now we have Maker as an ERC20 and we have the various representation of Maker on the other side of the bridge. What we now need to do, we need to get some Maker that we want to bridge. We can go in here, press receive. Here we can see which address on the Ethereum network we have to send our maker to. You can go anywhere to any exchange or whatever, buy maker, send it over here. Or if you have it in your Ether wallet or anywhere else, send it from there, but you don't need any thing at all you could also just 
send it from any exchange where you could just buy Maker. So here you get the address. Also, we have to get some Ethereum because to send it over the bridge, we need some gas fees on the ETH side. Of course, it's the same address as the ERC20 maker. So we have to send these over there. And in a few moments, it will be there. So we skipped a moment in time, but you can see now I managed to send 0.5 maker and 0.05 ETH to the address on the Ethereum network that we found out before. So now we want to send maker over the bridge. So let's do it. Now we are in the overview of the Maker ERC20 currency, where we see that we have the .5 Maker. We press send. We do convert or cross chain, and we want to send off chain. Send Maker to an address on a different blockchain network without converting it. So we're sending from main, we're sending to the recipient address. Oh, we still need the recipient address. Let's find it out. Let's go back. We go to the maker.vith currency on the Verus network. And here we can already see this is the address we're going to receive again. This is the address on the Varus network. We go copy. So we go back. Copy. We go back to Maker. Do it again. Send. Convert or cross chain. Send off chain. Now we have the recipient address. We put in the amount. We are sending all of the dot five maker. Select network to send to. Oh yes, that's Verus. Select currency. That's maker dot Vith. We are pressing send. We are getting an overview. Estimated time time until arrival 20 to 30 minutes. The source destination to network Verus. We have maximum transaction fees, which is 0.028. Sounds quite high. Usually it ends up being a lot lower, but we'll see. But also uh, the 20 to 30 minutes is estimated. Once um, the traffic on the bridge will be, uh, will be uh, more frequent than this is what can be expected, but at the moment it also can take quite a bit longer. So like 90 minutes can also be, but it will come. So let's press send. And we have off-chain send initiated. We can track its status under the overview tab. It may take time to arrive even after it is confirmed. Yeah. So we can have a look. Maker is gone. Where is the overview tab? It's here. And to various Ethereum bridge contract. We can already see that this is confirmed, but obviously it takes time until it is on the other side. So, and again, some time has passed. As we can see now, the 
0.5 maker dot width are now on the various side and we now have to do our final task that what we are planning right from the beginning we want to pre-convert these maker dot width again we get our address because we also take it as the receive address we are going send we are going pre-convert putting this as the recipient address setting the full amount and we want to pre-convert to bridge dot with done and we are now staying on the current network as maker dot with already is on the bearer side so send as pre-convert is checked already so we can just press send we get an overview source and destination address are matching we convert to bridge.vith we estimate to receive 776 bridge.vith for our 0.5 maker here is written 10 2 to 10 minutes estimated time but obviously we will receive the bridge.vith at the end of the pre-conversion period on friday night utc sometime around then so let's send and we have pre-converted maker.vith with the goal to get our share of bridge.vith i did the video with maker as i said before because currently it was the best deal because it was underrepresented um, in the current pre-conversions so yeah let's hope that we get an above average part of bridge.vith you might want to check eth.verusbridge.io before sending your pre-conversion as these things might change maybe people put in a lot of maker and after that you get a better deal with something else i hope this helps everyone who still wants to do it and yeah looking very forward to the launch of the bridge everything's gonna change goodbye